Volcano is a type of mountain or hill where the molten rock erupts through the surface of the planet. A volcanic eruption is when the lava and gas are released from a volcano. This process is called eruption. The most dangerous type of eruption is called blowing avalanche, which is when freshly magma erupts through the surface of the planet of the side of a volcano. When we add baking soda, um, food color, and vinegar, the volcanic wow. eruption is begun. I hope you got knowledge from this presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sanazgar and I study in class 7. Today I will discuss some information about water cycle. Almost in each and every class we have learned about water cycle. But do you know that water cycle is also known as hydrological cycle or the hydrologic cycle? Basically, it is a complex system that includes many processes like evaporation, precipitation, percolation, and many more. So, one by one, I'll describe it. Number one, evaporation. Evaporation is the process that changes liquid water into water vapor. When does evaporation occur? Evaporation occurs when heat energy forces the bonds that hold up water molecules together to break. Number two, transpiration. Transpiration. Plants lose water through stomata present in their leaves. This process is called transpiration. Number three, precipitation. Precipitation is any liquid or frozen water that forms in the atmosphere and falls back to the earth. It comes in many forms like rain, sleet, and snow. Number four, water table. The water table is an underground boundary between the soil surface and the area where groundwater saturates sediments and cracks in rock. Number five, percolation. 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 Percolation is the water movement through soil itself. Number six, groundwater. Groundwater is the water beneath the soil surface and in the zone of saturation where every pore is spaced between rock and soil materials and saturated with water. I hope so that the topics I discussed today you have gained some knowledge through it and bring more knowledge about water cycle. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Zaman and I am here to tell you the vectors of my project electric circuit. The bulb is connected with an electric battery at one side and other side of electric battery is connected with on off switch. When we push the button to on position, the electricity flows through the terminals and glow the bulb. And if we push the button to off position, the electricity flow disconnected and stops the bulb to glow. I hope that you like my presentation. Thank you. I am here to introduce my presentation on topic beautiful nature. Now I will tell you what is nature. All of us like to smell, hear and see things that are clean, healthy and beautiful. We like the smell of fresh air filled with the fragrance of flowers. All of us like to the birds tripping and the leaf rustling in the wind. We like the present view of mountains, rivers, and forests, and generally around us. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Anush Dia from class 5. Now I am presenting about sea animals. There are many sea animals who live in the sea, which are as follows. Fish. Fish have tails and fish, which help them to swim in the sea. Now, turtle. Turtle have paddle-shaped feet which help them to move in the water. These are called flippers. Now, seahorse. Seahorse have tail to move in the water. Now, octopus. Octopus have three hearts and they live up to 25 years. I hope you all like my presentation. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am a partner student of class 8. As you can see, my topic is animal cell. Cell is basically the smallest unit of living organism. They are microscopic, cannot be seen to the naked eye. They can be seen after magnification using microscope. Cell is surrounded by a thin membrane called cell membrane. Central holes present close to the nucleus and help in cell division. Mitochondria play an important role in respiration. It is also called powerhouse of the cell. Uh, nucleus present uh, in the center of the cell. Uh, there are also Golgi bodies that use smooth endoplasmic reticulum, cytoplasm, ribosomes, lysosomes, 
they are also a part of the cells i hope you understand my topic thank you assalamu alaikum my name is abdul wahab i study in class 5 today i am here to tell you about some facts of respiratory system the lungs are main organ of respiratory system human has two lungs they are spongy the lungs together weigh approximately 1.3 kg the lungs perform the function of respiration they take oxygen from air after some time air is transferred to the blood lungs release carbon dioxide like when we breathe inside we inhale oxygen and when we breathe out we exhale carbon dioxide i hope you all like my presentation thank you assalamu alaikum my name is hania from class 8 today i will share a little information about bacteriophage virus a bacteriophage virus is a type of virus that infects bacteria in fact bacteriophage literally means bacteria eater on top there is a protein coat capsid there is dna inside the capsid this part is called as mac below his head they are for they are attached to a bacterium and insert their genetic material and then destroy the cell this part is called as tail fiber in the end they are for attachment to the host i hope you understand my project thank you assalamu alaikum and good morning my name is fatima madam teachers and your fellows my name is roman mirat from class 6 i i start the presentation with the great name of almighty allah my presentation topic is my presentation topic is dispenser now i will tell you how i make it and how does it work how does it work i open my cap of the coat hopper and water comes out through the pipe and water comes out through the pipe i collect the water into the glass and i will and i will drink it this is the great facility of this is the great facility of the cold and hot water when we when we need assalamu alaikum my name is faha topic and i am studying class and my project name is digestive system at the process of converting complex food the process of converting complex food into similar absorber form is called digestive system the digestive system the food goes to mouth come to oto feeder and go to the stomach and go to the stomach assalamu alaikum my name is mustafa i am studying class 5 and i will tell you some structural role locomotive organ of parrot parrot has curved beak and colorful feathers they mostly prefer warm tropical regions for their living life span of average parrot is around 50 years parrot lay two to eight eggs that are red in color and rounded in shape they are herbivorous in nature and eat seed insects and fruit they are highly intelligent and can eat with their feet they are, they have ability to mimic and can imitate humans 33% of world parrot population face extinction. Size of parrot can be as large as 3.5 feet and weigh up to 9 pounds. I hope you all like my presentation. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Riyal Ahmed and I am a student of class 7. My project is about open and closed circuit. When the current passes through the cell into the wire and the bulb is and the switch is open, it means the circuit is close and the bulb will blow and if the switch is closed it means the circuit is open and the bulb will not blow this was the open and closed circuit if thank you if you uh, thank you good morning and assalamu alaikum my name is ishwal sarah and i am in class 4 my topic name is banyan tree what is banyan tree banyan tree is the national tree of india it is very large tree and its branches span up to 100 meter this tree is extremely extensive like other trees it does not have just one main trunk it is very useful tree it gives shade and shelter to pupils or to animals the leaves of the banyan trees are smooth and the wood of this tree can be used as a pole that's all for my topic thank you for listening Assalamu alaikum my name is Ahmed Faisal I study in class 7 today's my project is electromagnet 
Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sharik and I study in Lalpai. Today I will te- tell you some factors about formation of soil by value. Soil is a precious material source. Soil is formed by the slow process of breaking down of rocks by nature forces. Such as the sun, wind, water, rain, hail, ice, heat and cold. It takes thousands of years for rocks to turn into soil. The process of breaking of rocks is known as weather problem. I hope you all like my presentation. Thank you.